The Mitten, adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. So this is Nicky. At first his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted white snow mittens, and finally, Baba made them. So this is Baba and all of her knitting, knitting her crocheting, making some mittens. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I, I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. So there's where they live. I love their cottage with the red door. She's feeding the, the geese over here. He's climbing up the tree. Do you see his mitten anywhere? He dropped it in the snow. Yeah, it's right. A mole tried from tunneling along, discovered the mitten, and borrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Let's see, he's right there with the mitten. He came out of the snow. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room in for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Oh look, see they're both getting in the mitten. There's a rabbit and the mole getting in the mitten. Next, a hedgehog came sniffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles. They made room. So now they're all getting into the mitten. The rabbit's looking right at those prickles of the hedgehog. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in, also the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's grintly thorns, or his thong, talons, they quickly let him in. Oh, so how are they going to fit him in there? And look, you can see the hedgehog's prickly sticking out. So he's got long tail lumps there. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mittens and become, began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw that his badger saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. So see his, there, call his the diggers, his claws of the diggers. They say, come on in. Oh my. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in a mitten. A whiff of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotted by, stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his nozzle in the mitten 
the muzzle in the mitten made him feel drowsy. Sorry, I misread that. The fox poked his muzzle when the mole, the rabbit, the bad hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth. They gave room. The fox lots of room. He's got to climb in that mitten. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up, but not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and plugged too many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. Wow, that bear, big bear, gonna get in that mitten. Oh, he did. There they are. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into the one spot space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. So see, there they are, there's a badger and there's the rabbit. And there's the fox and the owl and the bear. And there's that little meadow mouse right on his nose. Oh my. The bear tickled his nose. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave him an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 the force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals all in all directions. There they go. There goes the owl and the fox and the little mouse and the rabbit and the badger. Look at that. Hedgehog. They're just flying everywhere. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. So there it is over here. So evidently when he sneezes, the, the mitten flew up and Nikki saw it. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. She, first she looked to see if it was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. And there's Mama and Nikki. And look, see, she's kind of wondering because one mitten is larger than the other mitten. But we know why, don't we? I hope you enjoyed the book.